Hello and welcome to Let's Play Destroy All Humans with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, we did a mission I thought sucked, but actually, I sucked. Uh, duck and cover, but we did it quite easily. And we got Armquist in trouble with Silhouette. So take that, Armquist. Uh, oh, and also we destroyed the whole uh, Air Force hangar with their own nuclear weapon. So take that. Um, in today's episode, we're going to do a couple of things. We can do the next mission, which is back in Santa Modesta. It's a wonderful Armageddon, which just fits in perfectly with a game called Destroy All Humans. But, instead we're going to go back to Area 42. We could terrorise the humans and steal their brain stems. In fact we are, because we're going to do some of the, uh, the side missions there. So let's go. All right, then here we are. Oh, uh, right near some nasty things that will probably shoot us soon. Okay, I thought it might put us somewhere near a, a landing site, but obviously not. Um, let's just, I don't really want to go there though. Uh, no, thing shooting at us already. There? No, that's not, a, that's not even a landing site, that's a side mission. Okay, let's just go with this one here. This one's quite out of the way. Yeah, this will do. Um... Man, that's mean of them. I was not prepared for that. Alright, well. Um, I can't remember if there was three or four side missions in this area. There may even be four. As I've said multiple times now, they're not very different, but it's always worth looking at them. There's one that's quite, well, fairly interesting, I guess, um, involving cows. Let's see, there's one, two, three. Oh no, there is four. Is there one back there? There is. Okay then. So let's do some of these. Oh, no. What? Bring it. No, let's do this one. And it is... Oh, Armag ah, Armageddon. Go. Destroy what is left of the human base. Destroy what is left of the human base. Okay. Um, You're repeating yourself there a bit, Pox. Uh, time limit, 2 minute 45. Reward, 200 DNA. Let's go. Let's go back in our saucer, actually. Because uh, anything involving buildings, we just use um the... Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom, getting there. And the time limit's still going to count down, even though it's a, a loading screen that we can't skip. That's very fair. Thank you. I am a bit worried about this, actually, because there's a lot of things that can shoot us in this area, uh, as I'm sure you've been able to tell from the past episodes. So let's just see how this goes. There is only 20, though. So, oh, there's health there. I'll take that. Thank you. Let's just try and dodge all these bullets and missiles and things. Um, uh, actually, let's go to that. See how much this does. Oh, look at this thing! Look at this screen! I hate this. It's mean and nasty. Though actually, we haven't been taking too much damage so far. Get rid of those things. It's these little ones I don't like. There, go away. Take that health. Right, that's good. That's gone. Good. Go away. More ammo. Oh, thank you. Okay. Not doing too bad here. I do need some health though. Like, right there. Thank you. I'm not... I really... I, I thought the game would have slowed down by now, but obviously not. Right, back away from that a little bit. There might be some health on these mountains. Yeah, there is. Good. Oh, no. It's one of those things that... They're, they're horrible. Getting away from there. Oh, now I'm being shot from this side. <laughs> shot from all angles. Where are these other ones then? Oh, right in the middle. Alright, so this one was actually probably one of the more difficult ones to start off with. But hey, we'll get the easy ones done first. It's like leaving leaving what you like best on your plate. You eat the crappy stuff first. Keep taking that health if we need it. We don't. So where's this building then? Is it there? Yeah, it's there. Hiding in flames. Uh, it's somewhere around here. I'm just going to keep shooting. There we go. Just, just close your eyes and shoot. Uh, 200 DNA. Good. Now we've got to try and get out of there. Run away. Run away. Run away. Thank you. Alright then. So, as we travel to the next... Oh, there's a probe up there. Um, 
Can I talk about probes later? I'm gonna die. What the hell? No, let me land. Let me land. Oh, thank goodness. As we go to the next side mission, I thought I'd bring out something that someone put in the comments in a previous episode. So, a couple of episodes ago, two or three, I think three, who cares, um, I talked about, or I, I posed a question about how would, how would people respond to actual aliens, the protocols involved with alien life forms contacting Earth, and whether there was documentaries or or science fiction programs based around it, and, and a lot of you very kindly uh, gave suggestions for that. Um, but interestingly, uh, someone, hang on, I wrote down the name because it's always so rude of me not to say the name, so, and I'm never good with YouTube names anyway, I mean, my own YouTube name is horrible, so, Yoshi, Yoshi Dose, Yoshi Dose 2006, that'll do, um, pointed out about the reaction not so much of the military and people like that but the reaction of people just everyday people and citizens and how they would react and um, I was gonna say he but maybe she I don't know so I should just say they um, they pointed out about Orson Welles's War of the Worlds radio broadcast in 1938 and the reaction that had um, which caused panic and hysteria at the time. I, I will just carry on talking about this, but hang on. Oh, this is it. This is the Great Cow Race. Let's do this one. Your task is to test the relative speed of your jetpack against that of the ter Terran quadru quadrupeds. Quadrupeds. There you are. I got there in the end. Uh, 200 DNA. Okay. Your task is to test the relative speed of your jetpack against that of the Terran quadrupeds. Do what now? You see those creatures masticating the local flora? I want you to demonstrate that you can complete a routine surveillance circuit faster than they can. It should be easy using your jetpack, and then you can get back to... Whoa, 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 back up a minute. You want me to race against them? Yes. You're serious? Yes. But... why? I wish to test a theory I have regarding lactating bovoids and the... Uh... Uh, it's a bit technical. I'm afraid it would take too long to explain. This is, without a doubt, the stupidest task you've ever given me. Hmm. I'd have to agree. Good luck. Uh, one of these days, Pox. One of these days, pow, right in the oral interface. Despite the fact that is a nice little Honeymooners reference, I really don't understand why they put a cutscene there. Um, but the truth of the matter is, we are not faster than these cows, especially not with our crappy jetpack. So the only way I know to beat them is to kill them. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't. I tried to do this um, at least... Oh no, don't go in the air, that's a bad idea. I tried to do this a few times just by running and flying at the... Like, you know, doing the, the inside corners and trying to follow the right line. I couldn't do it. I could not beat these damn cows. And in fact, I think I may have messed up here already. Because I can't shoot them from this far away. But the only way I managed to do it before was... Uh, let's just cut in front quickly and we go back and get that checkpoint afterwards. Was to kill them. Come here. I think I... Oh no, don't aim at that. I didn't realise I auto-aim that much. Hang on. Stop it. Um. Yeah, it's up there at the top, so... We can just get these last few cars. This is so stupid. The cutscene was correct. This is a very stupid thing we're doing. But it doesn't even make sense, really, because you can't win. I really wish there was a way to upgrade your jetpack. I really do. Alright, so get rid of these last few cows. You are in the lead. Not anymore. Now you're dead. Oi. Right, I think we're safe now. We can go back and actually... Oh, no, there's more. I wonder if they respawn. They might actually respawn. I do not know. Um, We'll soon find out, though. We will soon find out. Oh, oh, they're not. This is the endless supply of cows. Hey, free meat. Okay, this is this is not going well actually. Let's get them. Are we okay? I think we're okay for cows at the moment. All right, no, they were just a, they were just the strugglers at the back. You can all die. See, but there's going to be a checkpoint at that thing, so we can't do that shortcut round there. Yeah. Hmm. 
Not sure how I feel about this race. <laughs> and if it's actually very racy at all. No. Oi. No. Why on earth would you... Oh, I lost, didn't I? What? You let them beat you. What kind of Furon warrior can't fly faster than a group of lactating bovoids? Back to the training pen. Immediately. Curse you, pathetic humans. I mean, honestly, you can't do it. With this stupid little jetpack, you cannot do it. Alright then. You want to play it like that and do game? You want to play it like that? Well then, fine. We will play it like that, and I'll get shot in the face by a tank. No, I'm going to go restart this, and I'm going to... Oh, come on now, I'm going to... Yeah. Don't make me die again. Uh, I'm going to go reset the mission, and hopefully get a bit further... Ooh, in terms of winning, I'll get that probe later. Um, and I cut forward. I think it was this one. Yeah. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, those cows are running away. They know that I'm too good for them. I think I've done it this time. A little bit of a cow heap there. Ignore that. But basically, I just kept up with them a bit better. And uh, didn't didn't lag behind so much, but honestly, flying with this jetpack does nothing. Nothing. There we go. Because uh, you you don't go fast enough in the air, and it takes too long to fall. Like if you're up in the air, you're just gonna get shot as well. But it takes too long to drop down. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go hide. <laughs> no, I'm not. We're heading towards the next one. And I carry on what I'm talking about earlier about awesome worlds. So. Yeah, the reaction against Orson Welles' radio broadcast was quite an interesting thing to bring up. Um, because at the time, um, Hitler was doing some nasty things in terms of taking over the Sudetenland in Czechoslovakia. And the Rhineland. Um, and people were getting a bit anxious that there was going to be a, ne uh, a Second World War. Which there was. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. Um... So people were quite on edge about that, and then they heard this this very news-like broadcast from the radio, which is actually just a play, and they got all panicky. Now, there are things that say, actually, it's been a bit overhyped, the actual reaction. The actual reaction to what... to uh, of people at the time. Like, they were, it wasn't as widespread as people say, but still, some people were fooled by it and did worry about it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Uh... And I, I posed the question back in the comment. Desert Ray. Oh, what's this? Checkpoint race, isn't it? Alright, fine. Um, Devil's Canyon. I posed the question, what what would be the similar thing to today? Like, how would people react today? Are we... Uh, I was going to say, are we less naive? I don't think the people were naive at the time. They just... It was just a new technology. Like, uh, we could... We could probably replace the radio with something like Twitter. Like, say if this... Oh, hashtag alien landing. <laughs> and that just got uh, like started spreading everywhere across the internet. And then that went on to YouTube. And then that went on to... Like, videos got viral of um, people getting probed. I don't know. Maybe that would be a different website altogether, actually. But still. Uh, I, I reckon people still react the same. I re I, even though science and technology and and everything has advanced in the... 70 years since I still think people would react exactly the same way it's it's still part of the basic human instinct it's just to panic really that's what humans do that's what humans do best as well so yeah I don't know about military people but I, I, I definitely myself I think I would panic if there was aliens landing uh, and then there'd be rioting and looting and all that nasty stuff as well but I just thought that was quite an interesting thing to bring up about about alien landings and reactions now and then. But yeah, get hashtag alien landing trending. Go. <laughs> um, so I think we're nearly done with these side missions now. Uh, these are just the checkpoint ones. We've seen all these before. Uh, slightly different as in locations. Get to see some things like that. But, oh, I'm going the wrong way. But yeah. We're probably... Have a little walk around here just to collect some probes. What I think I might do is, ah, onto the nice subject of probes, actually. Um, 
Obviously, a couple of episodes ago I went back and I got all the pros from Turnipseed Farm, which ended up being quite a nightmare because Pandemic were rather mean with their spreading out of the probes um, in locations without any guide at all or or weapon, not weapon, but you know, like a item that can show you where they are. So it did take a while to find them right at the very edges of maps and, and hidden amongst trees and stuff. And I did think about how long it would actually take. Would it get in the way of making more LPs? Is there even a point to it? Because if I want to do 100% I'd have to do all the side missions as well. And then people in the comments did bring up the fact that you don't really get anything for doing this. I think there is. Um, ow. I think, come on, fly. There is something unlocked for, I'm going the wrong way. Getting all the probes in an area. Although it may be a cheat, I can't remember. It's something not very good anyway. So... Overall, I don't think I am going to get all the probes, but the good thing that probes do is it gives you a, a reason to look around the area and explore the map. Come on, I'm almost there now. There we go. So I think I might do that, because these, I think these races are also supposed to do the same thing as well. They're supposed to show you the map, but they don't really do a very good job of that because you're too busy trying to get to the next checkpoint in time to appreciate it. So we could just have a little wander around the map, pick up some probes, do some of the things, um, or look at some of the things that Pandemic have made. I think that'd be pretty neat. Although well, we're doing that now. <laughs> I need to try and find the last side mission. Uh, I'm a bit lost now, actually. Easy to get lost in this place. It all looks the same. Is it that one over there? I think it is. Oh, boy. But, yeah, there's just... There's just no point with these probes. Oh, no. Not to me anymore, anyway. Uh... Okay, I'm going to die here. This is this is where I die. I know it. I'm going to get shot by that tank. <gasps> this side now. Okay. That was close. Why is this thing? Why is it in the middle of this fall? Majestic Mayhem. Destroy 12 en enemy humans. This will be easy. Okay, bring it. Oh, well. That just do did the job for me. I don't think uh, they count though, do they? Oh, those? Uh, there seems to be soldiers everywhere, so... Ooh, they're very good at rolling though. Come on now. This shouldn't be too difficult. Get an iron detonator out, blow them up. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I mean, all our weapons are quite strong now, actually, so... I don't know what we use. I'm gonna die again, hang on. And I'm dead. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm dead. Oh, come on now! Why did I die again? Alright, I don't care anymore. Yes, I know, our boys trounce a midget commie. Blah, blah, kick him back to the... Oh, Kremlin. I just don't look at that health bar enough. I really don't. Yeah, alright. A clone. 139... Yeah, that's right. 139. Well... You get the idea. We won't We won't bother going back and doing that. You get the idea. You killed 12 humans. That was it. That was a little bit stupid, but I don't care. Because I want to move on to the actual story now. Go back to Santa Modesta for the mission. It's a wonderful Armageddon. Let's go. Cryptos, here's a frightening new weapon for your saucer. The Quantum Deconstructor. It has a blast wave that destroys everything. Try it out on the commercial buildings of Santa Modesta. Aha, and here is our new weapon for the saucer, the Quantum Deconstructor. Press the R2 button to cycle to the Quantum Deconstructor. Press the R1 button to launch a Deconstructor. Then sit back and watch the havoc. Requires ammo. Thank you. So let's use this thing. As it's just explained, it's pretty powerful. Uh, so we've got to destroy 15 buildings. And that, I think, is the whole mission. So let's just watch out for shooty things. Let's try on a really big building. Like you. And it's gone. So, one shot and they're gone. I mean, we can still use things like the sonic boom. 
That's fine. I think that's what, three hits maybe? Two hits to do that? Oh, we're going to get more slow down here. Now, don't die again, Joe. Please. I'm going to die again. Look at my health. Hmm. Now, I managed to do this. Give me... No, I don't want that. I want proper ammo. Uh, I want proper health. I managed to do this mission without any upgrades. Somehow. So it can be done. I should not be having this much trouble already. Um, it definitely can be done. Give me a... Give me a health. What's wrong with you, game? Oh, okay, fine. Uh, let's just be a bit, bit more careful. Dodge lots of, lots of things. Oh, I'm gonna die. I need, I'm gonna blow up. I know I am. That's, that's what I don't like. It's flashing red for ages. Like, when is it actually gonna blow up? Is it gonna be now? Let's hope that some of these buildings drop health. Uh, no, that, see, that looks a lot like the health one, but it's not. Alright, let's get rid of the things then. Instead of the buildings, let's get rid of these things, which suck. I hate you. Go away. Oh, and there we go. This episode has been Death-tacular. Oh, new, a new uh, newspaper, though. Moon rocket disaster. Test flight crashes. Officials blame monkey astronaut. Oh, those poor monkeys. Lights in the sky, 4th of July. Comes early for prankster. We're not a prankster. We died. We don't prank about death. Fine. Wow, we're, we're racing through the clones in today's episode. Let's try that again. Alright, then I think we're cut back in here. I had a little change of tactics this time. Um, instead of going after the building straight away, I went for the SAM sites and I went for the... Uh, the, the things that were shooting us, basically. So most of those are gone now. There may be a few stray ones, but we're, we're mostly clear. I mean, I have nearly died in the process. Look at my health. But at least there's not any, everything shooting at us now. Actually, is that one over there? No, that's a tree. So we can we can destroy in peace, at least. Let's get rid of you. Oh, I hit the tree, not the building. Oh, there's one over there. I missed one. I missed one. Quickly. Quickly. All right. Good. These tanks are a bit dangerous, although they don't do too much damage. It was those proper missile launchers that did the most damage. You. Stop. Right, let's go back to uh, what we're doing. Oh, there's health. Yeah, now you give me health. Screw you. Drop a few sonic booms. Boom, boom. There we go. This is more like it. This is a bit easier. Don't do what I did to begin with, folks. That was a mistake big mistake. Take that, use some more of these, may as well. 9 of 15, not too bad. You. Uh, go back to, I'm just going to switch between Sonic Boom and Quantum Deconstructor really, because they're both, you get quite a lot of ammo for each, usually. Maybe not here though. Usually there's quite a lot flying around. Ah, now up here I did not get any of those SAM sites, so... Oh, good. Give me that. There may be some trouble ahead. Or maybe not, because we only have three buildings to go. Get rid of the donut place as much as I hate to. Goodbye. Whoa, look at that donut fly. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, that doesn't need to be destroyed. I'll get that, though. Thank you. Oh, no, we still have ammo. Good, so SMCBS, you can stay. I like you. Uh, Burt Withers in there. Now uh, you can go... And you can go. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. That's how you should do that mission. So, we did die twice in today's episode, but I'd like to think that was pretty good going there. Yeah. And Santa Modesta is completely gone now. Reds 2, American Nil. Red Saucer flattens Santa Modesta shopping district. Oh, yeah. Continue. Alright then. Well, mixture, I think, in today's episode of uh, good points and bad. Um... Oh, two, two clones, but still. Let's go back to the mothership. Oh, I wonder what that was then. That was our quantum deconstructor spinning. All right then. So in the next episode, we're actually going to go to a completely new place. Yeah, we're going to... I'll quickly show you the... There's a new mission, yeah, but I'll quickly show you the name of it. It's in Uniontown. 
and it's called ooh, Fjord on Down. Exciting. So we do that next episode. So until then, thank you for watching, and goodbye.